What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now if you guys didn't catch the latest weekly update from Bungie regarding Destiny, I'll cover all important information in today's video. If you do want to check out the whole post, I will link that in the video description. So what is new? Well for one, Trials of Osiris and Iron Banner are coming back this month. Me personally, I cannot wait. More about Trials of Osiris later, let's start with Iron Banner. Lord Saladin will welcome competitors on the 13th of this month, which is on a Tuesday. Your power still matters and Bungie have adjusted the damage curves to work with the new measurement systems. Other changes are as follows. The tempered buff is now automatically applied and continues to grow in effectiveness each day of the event. The ult catch up buff and iron banner medallion mechanics are unchanged. Potential match completion rewards now include both weapons and armors matching the same items available from Lord Saladin during each event. Drop rates have been increased and are to be the primary source of rewards from the Iron Banner. If you don't get what you are hoping for, you have the option to visit Lord Saladin in the tower instead. To purchase gear from Lord Saladin and the Iron Banner, it requires legendary marks instead of glimmer. New emblems have been added to his inventory. All new bounties, including nine daily bounties, three per day, and three new weekly bounties, which reward legendary marks. The recommended minimum light for the Iron Banner is 230, and only level 40 guardians can lead a fire team. Me personally, I'm getting back into PvP after the Fawn and Final Round era, which ruined it for me for months. So I cannot wait for the Iron Banner event to come around. Now, talking about Fawns and Final Rounds, I stopped playing Trials of Osiris after the first month due to these issues, but now they have both been fixed, I'm really looking forward to the Trials of Osiris, where gun skill may actually be needed. Now, Trials of Osiris will be back on October 16th, which is a Friday as normal. Also as normal, power still matters. So what's changed? Well, Trials gear will now drop exclusively as end of match rewards for the winning team. The more you win, the better those drops will be. There's no need to return to Brother Vance on the reef as all rewards come directly to you. Passage coins still drop for the losing team. Trials is still about winning, but coins can help make that easier. Trials passages now have a details page containing your active buffs. You won't be able to add buffs once you have started your trial, so make sure you buy them first. Players who go undefeated on their passage will continue to be invited to the lighthouse. Players may continue to play the trials past 9 wins but won't receive any better gear. Brother Vance now has trials bounties available each weekend to provide players with a way to get sweet trials gear even if they're not reaching the lighthouse. Regular crucible bounties are also valid in trials of Osiris. Now this is the biggie, Bungie will attempt to match up teams with similar win counts. If you have one win, you will be matched up against other teams with one win. If you have eight wins, you will be matched up with other teams with eight wins. I'm predicting now a lot of broken hearts, I really am. Teammates and enemy revives now have a distinct audio cue. The recommended minimum light is 290 and only guardians with 251 light can lead a fire team. Now I've missed that minor details but like I said you can catch the whole post linked in the video description. I am absolutely super pumped for the 13th and 16th. I cannot wait, I really can't. It's going to be a busy week that week, it really is. Guys tell me your thoughts on the new setup with Charles of Osiris and the Iron Banner down below in that comments section. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Get it right.